today we're going to talk about making a shadow box. So what a shadow box is, is a box to control the lighting in your art uh, if, when you're doing especially a still life painting. So for an instance, I have uh, three windows in this room plus an overhead light here and then we even have uh, side lights. So we would have, if I was just using the natural light plus the lights, uh, the electric lights, uh, we would have a lot of different light sources. And so with the shadow box, you can control the light and just have it come from one direction. So what you need is a sturdy box. Uh, make sure it's fairly strong and not too flimsy. Then you need uh, to cut off the flaps on the top of it. And then I cut a hole in one side, just a square hole. So I'm not going to demonstrate that part. So uh, if anyone gets hurt, you know, that's on you. Okay, you'll have to figure that part out how to cut a box. So then what I did is took some, I used glassine, you could use tissue paper or even possibly white uh, printer paper and uh, make, you're going to cover, I just used some blue masking tape to cover the hole you made on the side. Now we've got our shadow box and you'll need a light source to shine through here. So I will go I will go get my light source and demonstrate that. But first, let me just show you. Um, the box obviously is kind of just a brown color. You can cut out uh, different colors of backgrounds with paper. Uh, you could even use fabrics and you can even make like a, if you want to do fabric in your painting, have that be actually part of your painting. But you could even uh, put it in the back. So uh, there are quite a few options with the shadow box as far as setting up a, a scene the way you want. Let me go get the light and demonstrate how to use it. All right, we've got our shadow box with the light source. So I'm gonna turn the light source on. And uh, let me first put something in here uh, that we would use, for example. Get all this stuff out of the way. So without the light source, it's getting, um, there's no shadow. It's getting, that's why it's called a shadow box. Actually, there's a little shadow. You can see, I don't know if you can see, I will show you afterwards. There's actually two shadows because there's two different light sources. So when I turn on this bright light, it'll help uh, just make the, this shadow more pronounced coming from this angle. All right, then you will have a three-dimensional object to paint with out so many light sources that creates a flat, more of a flat painting and more confusion. So here you can see the difference uh, between having it on and having it off. So that has several light sources on it. There's more than one shadow in the back and um, yeah, so for painting purposes, it's just going to create more of a flat um, image. And so this will create more depth and interest in your painting. So uh, let me just say a few more things about the shadow box. I wouldn't leave it unattended just in case the light source heats up the paper and box, and that could be a fire hazard. I also wouldn't put anything flammable like a burning candle. I mean, that seems obvious, but um, inside. So you can uh, have a, if you have a bigger box, you could do a more complex uh, scene. And uh, yeah, so this is probably just a 12 by 12 inch box in about six inch depth. So you could definitely do a larger box depending on the space and um, what your plans are, or even a smaller one. So it just depends on what you want to do, but this is a basic shadow box. The paper on the side is to help diffuse the light, so it's not like that is, you know, when it's direct, it's just a lot harsher. So it's just a softer light this way. And this is a nice lamp because it um, can bend to exactly where I want it. So I'm able to 
direct it right um, in the middle of the hole there. Anyway, I hope this helped you. Uh, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments.